Hey guys, I'm Julie, and today we're going on a trip to Value Village, but no, not the one you're probably familiar with if you watch Canadian YouTubers. See, in Texas, we have our own Value Village. Totally a different store, totally the same name, totally legal, I'm sure. Either way, this thrift store is super cheap and huge, so I'm not worried about that. When I first walk in, I head straight to the purses because there's a 99% chance I will be disappointed and if I am not disappointed, then I know I will have a lucky trip. This bag was pretty decent for a thrift store bag, but it was also pretty nasty. You can't really see the nastiness that well because my camera boy is stupid and it looks like I'm just pointing at nothing. I did manage to find two separate bags that both contain the letters of my initials, but I'm not trying to start any weird fashion trends by wearing these two together. I then head to the shoe section, which is equally disappointing and usually a little smelly too. Um, I'm a size 5.5 to 6, so there's probably about 10 shoes in here that will actually fit me. Home decor is always interesting. There's a lot of modern art gems here, like this painting by my favorite artist, Charlie, and this framed picture of a bunch of white babies dressed as flowers. Now I'm looking at the shorts, because before the summer started, I had one pair of shorts, and um, my dog ate them. I'm not kidding. Don't ask me any questions because I probably won't know how to answer them. In the short section, I found my first item in this trip. Because I displayed gratitude, I was then able to find approximately 10 more pairs of shorts that varied on the scale from sort of cute when you cuff them to just okay. Here is an artsy shot that my camera boy tried to capture from inside the clothing rack. Since he is stupid, like I mentioned earlier, he was covering the lens half the time and it just didn't really work. Tried to find a little black dress, did not find one, but I did find this really sexy color block dress. You can see from my dumb face that I was quite pleased with this. I am sorry that you had to see that. Moving on, let's look at less footage of me being stupid and more footage of my camera boy being stupid, okay? Skirt with embroidered flamingos. Do I love it or do I love it? Yes. Okay, and now the moment you have all been waiting for, dressing room time. First outfit. Okay, it's kind of artsy fartsy, but I don't hate it. Okay, second outfit. Is this one a winner or... No. That is most definitely not a winner. Okay, third outfit. Better not disappoint. Oh look, it's mediocre, just like this entire channel. Okay, now we're actually inside the dressing room together so you guys can share on all my insecurities. How fun! This skirt was cute on the rack, but on me, it was just uh, pretty frumpy. Didn't get it. The shirt was super versatile because I can look like Romeo or Juliet depending on my mood that day. The shirt is flattering in just about every way possible, but these shorts? Not so much. Before I leave the dressing room, I just want y'all to know that Heather loves Brandon forever. Okay, so now we're done here at the thrift store. I got all my stuff, which means that it's... So what the hell did I actually buy? Uh, let's start with the shorts because there's quite a lot of them. Uh, these shorts were 60 cents and they are red. I literally don't know what else to say. These shorts were $2.80. They'd probably be good for hiking, but I don't do that kind of stuff. I dig the aesthetic though. These shorts were $3.40. They barely fit me, but they're so freaking cute that I will make them work. These shorts were $0.80. Cents. They're black. They fit well. There are only so many things I can say about them. Here's a random belt I bought too. It was $1.90. I've been looking for a brown belt for a while now, so I was really happy to find this. For shirts, I got this plain red tee. I really like the way it fits, and it's a pretty solid basic. It was $1.90. I got this shirt that makes me look really sexy because it's sheer but also embellished and I'm at a point in my life where I actually have boobs now and I still haven't gotten over that fact so I like to flaunt them as much as I can. This shirt was $3.90. Got this white shirt, makes me look like the suave romantic that I am who loves her camera boy, I mean boyfriend dearly. $3 well spent. 
This red shirt makes me feel like I'm an art student. It's very abstract, but I think the design is pretty cool and I love that it looks good like this or with the collar all the way up like you saw it earlier. It was $3.90. Then I got two dresses, ended up getting the mediocre dress, it was $5.40. I might try that thrift flip thing, I've been seeing a lot of people do because I actually know how to sew and whatnot. And I might just make this into a whole different dress, but I haven't decided yet, so no promises. I also got this dress, it's got polka dots and it's so freaking cute. I love the classy silhouettes, but it's just a little bit too dated for my taste, so if I do do the thrift flip thing, I will definitely give this a facelift. It was $7.80. I got the flamingo skirt too because I just couldn't resist the freaking flamingos. I don't know whether to keep it as a skirt or turn it into a shirt. I guess I'll find that out if I do a thrift flip though. It was 8 freaking dollars though. But yeah, that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would have vlogged this while I was out shopping, but I would have said something stupid and this whole video would be like as cringy as that dancing was. But no, if you guys enjoyed this cringy video, then give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more cringy content from yours truly. I will see you guys on Friday. Bye!